Thanks for joining us today for our second video in our out of the box implementation series for Odoo 16. In our last video, we introduced our business, the barbershop, and got started by installing the modules needed, reviewing the accounting settings, and we reviewed how to configure contacts within Odoo. Today, we're going to start exploring the inventory module. We will be configuring our settings for the inventory module, setting up our warehouse, activating pre-configured routes, and we'll create our storage locations within Odoo. So let's set the stage here. We have a space in our storefront where we receive and stock our branded products. We like to keep some product on hand at all times and replenish our stock when it falls below a certain amount. When products arrive from our vendor, we go through each shipment and perform a quality check to ensure no items are damaged. The products will then be sorted and placed into bins on our storage shelves. Since our products do have an expiration date, we follow FIFO or first expiry, first out method. Let's go to our database now and see how this plays out in Odoo. First, we're going to need to determine what configurations will be needed in our inventory module and activate them. To do this, we're going to go to our inventory module. We'll select configuration and settings from the dropdown. Now, we're going to go ahead and review each of these section by section here in the inventory module in order to determine which configurations will need to be activated. And we won't be covering everything today, but we do want to go ahead and get these activated in our system. So taking a look at operations, we're going to go ahead and tick the quality box. All right, and that'll allow us to do quality checks. Um, under shipping, we are going to set up our email confirmations. We already have SMS text confirmations set up, so we'll leave that there. Uh, we do not have any shipping connectors, so we'll move right now from that. Under products, we are going to talk about variants um, in an upcoming video, so we're going to select that for now. Um, under traceability, we're going to select lots and serial numbers. Um, we are having products that do have expiration dates, so we'll need to select that box too. And then under warehouse, um, something that we're going to configure today, we're going to set up storage locations. So we want to take that one and uh, multi-step routes. Okay, everything looks good here. We'll go up to save our configuration. Great, now we're ready to move on to setting up our warehouse. We'll go to configuration here at the top menu and select warehouses from the dropdown. Here we have our company's warehouse in Odoo. It's set up under my company. Uh, if I wanna change the name in the future, I can do that, but we'll leave it for now. Um, down below, we have the short name, which is indicated with WH. And here over to the right, we have the barbershop address. So this is again, linked back to our contact form within the system. We'll go back with the breadcrumbs. Now let's take a closer look at the configuration uh, tab. We receive our products from our vendor and perform the quality check and then stock. So we'll set that up for three steps. And then the outgoing shipments, uh, we're gonna go ahead and leave that as delivering in one step. Then we have how we resupply this warehouse. It is a buy to resupply. We'll save our configurations. Now, with all of that set, we're ready to move into our routes. A quick way for us to navigate to that in Odoo is to use the smart button up in the corner on our form here. Now, Odoo has a few pre-configured routes available to us already, buy, three-step receipt, and deliver in one step, which we've already selected on the previous screen. One that's not currently listed is replenish on order. Now, Odoo does have this route already pre-configured, but it is archived. So what we're going to need to do is go up to filters and select archive from the dropdown. We'll tick the box here and go to action and select unarchive. Now this route will be used on the product level and we'll explore that later in our video series. And with that complete, we're ready to move on to discussing locations in Odoo. In Odoo, there are three types. You have physical locations, which are internal locations in your warehouse. Um, receiving, shipping, returns, etc. Then you have partner locations. These exist uh, within a customer or a vendor location. And finally, we have virtual locations. These are used when a product is not yet in physical inventory or is no longer a part of the physical inventory. Examples include inventory loss, scrap, etc. 
Odoo structures locations much like a tree. Each location is dependent on a parent-child relationship, and this allows for a more detailed view of stock operations and analysis relating to the organization of your warehouse. So here you can see the breakdown of my storage. We have the warehouse here with the short code of WH, um, and then stock, and beyond that, we have two shelves and several different bins. So now that we have a better understanding of how I have structured things at the barber shop, let's go back into Odoo to get our locations configured. All right, let's go to configuration and we'll select locations from the dropdown. We have a few locations already listed here, two of which were automatically made available when we configured the incoming shipments to a three-step process. So our incoming shipments will first arrive going to input, then quality control, and finally into our stock. So you have the one, two, and three step process noted here. Now taking a look at our stock location, you'll see that the short code identifies the location and is displayed in the parent-child format, WH slash stock. We can also see this hierarchical form when we drill down into the location. Here we have the WH identified as the parent uh, location of stock, and we won't touch this too much on this form, but I do want to set my removal strategy at this parent location, and all child locations will actually default to what is set here. So we're going to go ahead and choose the FIFO or first expiry, first out method. Now this will be saved, and I'm ready to go ahead and create some new locations. So we'll go back to the location screen and we're going to click on the green create button. Okay, the first step we'll take is in the naming of our location. We're going to call this shelf one. Next, we're going to add our parent location and we're going to do WH slash stock. All right, under additional information, we're going to identify our location type. Um, this will be internal, which is a physical location. And again, there are several different uh, locations you could also choose from here. And for more information on those, you can hover over the question mark, which will provide additional detail for each. Now, if this was a scrap location, we could tick the box here or return location. Um, and then below we have logistics, the removal strategy. We've already specified that we're going first expiry, first out. So that's on the um, parent location, uh, cyclic inventory. So specifying a number here other than zero will set up a cyclical inventory date for which to perform inventory counts. And then below you'll have the last effective um, date that the inventory was conducted and also the next expected inventory date to be done. All right, let's go ahead and save what we've done so far. We'll go back to locations. We could keep adding these manually. But I'd like to save some time and go ahead and import our locations into Odoo directly through a spreadsheet. Uh, I've already created a basic spreadsheet that we can review real quick. Um, it's just set up with our location name, the location type, all internal, and then of course the parent location. Uh, so to do that, we're going to go to favorites, import records, we'll upload the file. Okay. Now we're going to match these um, fields to the Odoo fields and we'll test it to make sure everything's correct. It looks valid. We're ready to go ahead and import these now. All right, so now we can see that 11 records were imported. Uh, we've got the ones that were already set up prior to us looking, the manual location that we did with shelf one. And then we have all of the following parent-child relationship uh, locations that we added through the Odoo spreadsheet. So that's gonna conclude what we're doing today, but we are set to move into the next stage of configuring our Odoo database. In our next video, we're gonna be configuring our products and determining how they will be managed in Odoo. If you wanna know more about Odoo and how Confiance can help you digitally transform your business, contact us at sales at confianceit.com or call 704-214-4622, extension 403.